to bulldoze over society. And I'll get back to that uh, when we talk about the, the present. So um, AI practitioners, researchers allied themselves with, with empire by, by constantly reminding or saying that um, if we don't invest in AI, if we, the imperial, we do not invest in AI, we will lose our, our hegemony. So for instance, this is a book from very famous uh, uh, AI practitioners and, and a journalist in the 1980s that said, we have to invest in a national program for AI right now because otherwise the Japanese are going to beat us. And um, they use this incredibly racist imagery and rhetoric to sort of drum up support from, from the political establishment. You can see here the cover of their book. You have this Japanese feminine figure colonizing the body of Libertas, which is, you know, standing here for kind of like the Western white woman. And so AI was presented as like this, you know, masculine force that's going to defend the purity of the white woman. And it's rehashing all of these horribly racist tropes about Asian Americans, about generally racist tropes from, from the history of white supremacy. And this has been a constant theme. So sort of, we need to do this, otherwise the Japanese, otherwise the Chinese, otherwise whoever will, will take away our, our global superpower. Right, because there's concern uh, that we use uh, the resources of the government to spy on our own population. But one of the, so one of the ways that foreign states go after us is actually to take our own social media data and, and use it in ways that influence us. And so in order to discover that, you actually have to be in the data. And so the only ones that can be in the data today are the large tech companies. And so you're essentially offloading to uh, the large tech companies one of the primary um, purposes of forming the Constitution, which is in the preamble, provide for the common defense. And so if you think about national security, and it gets really the heart of things, right? If you think about national security, we have an Air Force, we have an Army, we have a Navy, we have a Marine Corps, right? I don't think you're worried about, you know, uh, Marines uh, jumping into your building here or getting bombed, right? You're not concerned about that. But I guarantee you the Chinese are in your networks and the Russians and the North Koreans and everybody else. You guarantee I guarantee it. They're in your networks. They're in everybody's networks. This is what they do. And so if they're in your networks. That's strong statements. You're, right. you're saying you're uh, guaranteeing I guarantee China it. and Russia's in our network. I guarantee it. I guarantee it, particularly because you put out that, um, that video on, on China. I guarantee they're, they're, they've come at wow. this place. And this has been a constant theme. So sort of, we need to do this, otherwise the Japanese, otherwise the Chinese, otherwise whoever will, will take away our, our global superpower.